good morning students how are you all hope you all are fine okay welcome to back to our accounting class okay students i think you might have understood what i have taught you in the first class yesterday about the introduction of accounting and uh, that what are the scope we have in future if you study this uh, accounting group okay that commerce group then after uh, completing this uh, plus 1 plus 2 you will be going for bcom or directly to ca or many management courses secretariat courses secretaryship okay so you have a very good scope so it's bet that uh, i am very glad that you have selected this group and i welcome you to this group so we have seen the introduction in the first class and once again i will uh, give a short summary about that accounting okay so we know the accounting what is accounting it is recording the business transactions in books of accounts so in short we can say it is bookkeeping it is bookkeeping okay we are maintaining books of accounts what are the relevant information that is needed to prepare uh, that uh, financial statements we maintain that is called accounting okay today we will see the revolution not sorry evolution okay how this accounting has been evolved okay so we can say this one uh, accounting is one of the that business language okay it is giving some information to the user that means what is the function of a language it passes some information to the hearer it be communicate no that is communication it does isn't it both one the people one, the two people are needed one is uh, speaking the other one is listening so why how why we say this accounting also also as an uh, as a language the language should uh, make understand the people want to read it so by reading the accounting we should we will understand about the uh, business how it is whether it is a sound position that means the assets and liabilities and before that whether the uh, business earns profit how it performs whether it is going in a developing stage or it is in a declining stage if it earns profit more okay than the previous years we can say it is developing okay so it uh, that it pass some information to the user okay again uh, you will study about the users who are all using this language this accounting okay the users mainly we know the owners isn't it owners only we will think but not only the owners we have many other people if it is a joint stock company the owners we say the shareholders isn't it then some other people also will invest money maybe the uh, the debenture holders or those who lend money to the uh, company so they may be the bankers they also we should know whether the that particular company want to gets a uh, loan whether they are in a position to repay the amount that also uh, must be watched by the uh, lenders or who has lent money to the organization then those who supply materials to the company that we can say they are the creditors okay they are the creditors one who supply materials raw materials in order to produce some other uh, product somebody will, that company will purchase some goods from uh, suppliers they are the creditors to the company so they also will be worrying about the company whether the company is able to pay back the amount so they also will be watching how the company performs whether their financial position is sound or good okay then the government sometimes it will provide subsidy or uh, they because each and every organization is contributing for the capital uh, formation of the country 
or the development of a country so the, that even the government also prefers that particular company has to earn profit only then it is uh, doing some better function for the public and for the government also okay it will it should increase that that uh, gross domestic product that means the production of the country must increase okay so the government is also worrying about the com every company okay then the authorities tax authorities so uh, that or may uh, income tax we can say sales tax we can say so these tax authorities also they need to assess the tax liability of the company for that purpose they need the financial statements okay whether uh, if they earn more profit then they will tax little more isn't it so they also uh, if they also will be happy if a company earns more profit only then they too will get more tax okay in that way they, we will study this users okay users we will study in a separate heading heading means in the same uh, that introduction chapter in the first chapter we will learn this one okay now we will come back to this evolution so how this term accounting has been evolved in the whole world when it came into existence that is that is what we are going to learn in the evolution this is just for your uh, knowledge sake okay do not need to uh, study by heart but you should listen and you should uh, have because from this evolution only they ask sometimes the one word questions okay so better listen properly so how it has been evolved we are in uh, india first we will talk about india okay in india you better know the uh, one of the kings the chandragupta maurya okay chandragupta maurya in his kingdom one minister was there his minister name is kautilya you might have heard isn't it in either in tamil or in history main in history you might have studied king chandragupta maurya his minister kautilya he wrote one book that is called artha shastra artha shastra we know shastram we say in tamil isn't it then what is the meaning artha arithmetic arithmetic i uh, i think i have not taught you arithmetic we know arithmetic operation what it is plus minus multiplication then division isn't it so this arithmetic so here itself the accounting is also somewhat related to the arithmetic isn't it we add all the uh, income and we subtract the expenditure then we will get the profit so this uh, this accounting that term has been traced out in this in this book artha shastra who wrote kaudalya he was the one of the ministers of chandragupta maurya maybe the finance minister isn't it so he in that one in which year around 23 centuries before okay that means before christ we see okay that means 23 my we see three centuries okay 20 centuries over so before to we see third uh, century this uh, king was there okay that time itself that term of accounting has been evolved okay now how it that uh, that uh, that uh, in the book isn't it so practically in which century this one has come into existence that we will see in the 12th century only that means uh, 1100 2200 ye after christ okay so in this century this 12th century only 
this accounting has been in the world. That time some people, you might have not heard I think, stewards. But we know this people. Steward means the people, those who are in charge of the accounts. That means for the wealth. Okay. They are in charge of the wealth. What and all... Uh, uh, that amount they spend and what amount they receive because most of the landlords okay landlords will be having many land the cultivation then their harvest they will sell so they might have appointed these people stewards okay so these stewards have to maintain the accounts okay that is why we call them that uh, stewards. That means they are in charge. In Tamil, what we say, no? Kanakapillai. Have you heard this now? You, you might have heard this one, isn't it? Stewards. That mean. Okay? So these people, what they do, no? They will maintain the accounts. So in that time itself, in that 12th century, not even 12th century, many... Uh, 2000, 3000 years before uh, it might be there, isn't it? This one, because the wealthy people, people not, uh, they do not uh, came after, only after Christ. They were before even 5000 years before they had this, the landlords. So they need to know what and all, uh, what is the income, what is the expense today, uh, what are the receipts, what are the payments of that particular day so that they might have appointed a person okay one in charge they take uh, care of the wealth okay so they have kept this accounts okay so that in that is the first one we have traced out in 12th century okay then in 15th century in the year 1494 a person in Italy, a merchant, a merchant in Italy called Luca Pascioli. Okay. He is uh, an Italian, he was an Italian merchant. He has only introduced or he developed the Double entry bookkeeping system. Okay. Double entry bookkeeping system. Here uh, we are going to learn about this double entry system in this uh, uh, in this year. Okay. In the next chapters you will learn. There the body is double entry system. And the next year you will uh, study the opposite one. The single entry. What is double entry? What is single entry? Okay, the first one was in the world was single entry. After this one only, they have brought, they have developed this double entry. There, what here they might have followed only the single entry. Okay, because uh, there, what is the uh, expenditure? Only the cash account they will maintain. Okay, Kanakapilla, if we say only the uh, cash account they will maintain. What are the uh, receipts of the cash and what are, what that are what are what is the income that day in cash and what they have spent what the what is the expenditure on that day the remaining will be submitted either daily or weekly or uh, monthly okay so that is the thing that the that the stewards might have done single entry but here you will learn here uh, if we say one transaction. If we pay expenditure, then here double entry means we have to write what is that expenditure name if they pay salary, salary, then what is going outside two transactions involved, sorry, two aspects in a single transaction that is called a double entry, okay. Here cash is involved and salary is involved. Cash is going out, okay, so it is credit. Salary is a uh, salary is debit because it is an expense. 
some rules are there golden rules of bevelinary system that you will learn in the third chapter okay there you will understand very well what is bevelinary system just as an introduction i am telling you okay or sometimes if we purchase a land okay purchasing a land one what is coming inside land isn't it that land is not walking and coming but we assume we receive land instead we receive land what is going out cash we pay cash so that is the transaction what is the transaction purchasing a land here what are the two aspects land and cash so one is debited one is credited okay here also payment of salary is the transaction here one is debited one is credited okay so that is the expense salary cash is going out so we need to credit cash okay so here that uh, we will learn in the third chapter very clearly you will understand there okay the golden rules of accounting and everything so this system was introduced by luca pacioli in the year 1914 sorry 1494 by an italian merchant that is what you should know okay then after in after this 15th century in 18th and 19th centuries what is happening that large scale production came into existence okay large scale production that means the industrial revolution took place in the world may especially in england or great britain okay england and america in foreign countries what they did that is what we learn in history also isn't it the british people they they came to india just to find out markets to sell their products why they have produced a large uh, number of products they in order to sell their products only they came to india find out market okay and here they have uh, they have discovered many uh, raw materials and they took the raw materials and they took there and they have provided employment opportunities there itself in their company they produced and brought back those goods to our country and they have sold for higher price okay so that large scale operation large scale production came into existence in the these centuries 18th and 19th centuries that time only they have understood the importance of accounting okay so that accounting uh, that gain the most importance in these two centuries only so because they need to know how much amount they because they have to spend a large amount as capital okay because they have to um, invest their uh, most of the capital in purchasing the machineries then many people will be Uh, appointed as workers the laborers will be more to pay more salary isn't it then in order to uh, be, uh, that uh, keep machineries they have to buy a large area of land okay all these are the uh, that assets okay then to run this uh, machineries and everything they need more laborers then to uh, to take care of the laborers they have to appoint the management managers okay they have to pay salary for these people so they had to uh, uh, they had to invest a large amount okay in this in this centuries in their uh, organization so in order to see the uh, performance whether after completing one year or after completing six months they want to see how much more they need to spend and how much uh, they have to they have earned from their business by spending a large sum of capital amount okay so here only this uh, one came into existence which one the financial accounting financial statements financial accounting 
financial accounting means that ordinary accounting okay that is called financial accounting that means what is their performance that means the trading and profit and loss account to find out the profit okay then the balance sheet balance sheet to find out the financial position of the business okay instead i told you, you know that one they have to see okay up to here i think i can complete the remaining we will see in the next class here also today we do not have anything to um, to study by heart so what you can do you know you have to listen to this video one or two times okay at least two times if you listen you will be very thorough okay daily one if you listen it is enough that you have to st you have studied okay and i will give you in the next class tomorrow's class i will give you one or two question answers that's all that i will write in a book and i will show to you you have to uh, study that one okay I, after explaining nicely i will give the question answer okay then you can uh, read that one and study or you write in your in your separate notebook but if we receive the uh, books it will be easy for us to study okay students so um, one, one another request also be safe in the house do not go anywhere boys will be in our class isn't it even though i do not know your faces so be in your uh, house safely don't go outside so now the condition is very critical okay everybody sit and pray okay after uh, doing this uh, listening to these videos of all the classes and help your parents and be obedient to your parents okay but uh, don't go unnecessarily outside because nowadays the, it is uh, the very critical condition even one of my relative also died of this corona disease okay so be safe and uh, sit inside the house and do your work and listen to this video okay students thank you very much